So in 2011, I came to the UK to work in technology as a computer scientist, an engineer, and alongside my career, I ended up co-founded and growing the Silico Roundabout Tech Meetup, which has become one of the largest tech meetup in Europe. Founders could uh, propel their technologies in front of an audience in London and get feedback from fellow founders and engineers. Through that journey, we started to realize that companies and founders, especially technical companies and founders, were struggling to connect to the rest of the ecosystem. So the community was offering a platform to do that. I started angel investing into some of those companies myself as, at that point, a senior software engineer tech lead. And then something started to bog me down on how can I be an engineer, uh, a community organizer, and also an angel investor and do all of this thing well. And so I quit engineering to dedicate myself fully to the community and the investing. And that resulted in launching now Silico Roundabout Ventures to scale up the operations of supporting founders and backing them as a first check into their new deep tech companies and then connecting them into the community to scale up their future companies. Deep tech is a subset of the technology world where technology gets commercialized based on breakthroughs in advanced engineering or, or science. Some of the benefits of deep tech for humanity and the planet include stopping reliance on fossil fuels, health innovation through both hardware and software, uh, addressing some of the major challenges of humanity like aging population and defeating illnesses, including cancer. So anything from telecommunication, health, energy, and in general computing can literally propel us into a more sustainable future and into a future where humans can enjoy the benefit of technology, not just on their screen, but in their everyday life. My investment strategy is chiefly made up of three parts. Uh, first is thesis driven. In deep tech specifically, I look for sectors and market signals that require breakthrough technologies to go on to the next stage. The second part is about being founders focused and technology focused, really sitting down with the founders like a super angel, being direct with the founder, me as the GP of the fund, and understanding the technology, the story, and also the long-term vision. And the last part is community driven, where I connect the founder as I do the investment and even and after we've done the investment with the community, not stressing over board seats or uh, pro rata rights, and instead focus on connecting and bringing other investors on board to help the company succeed and successfully raise later seed or series A. Hi, I'm Pravin Parate. I'm the co-founder and CTO of Kaizen. At Kaizen, we're building an AI-powered platform that helps client success managers manage their client relationships better, resulting in greater client satisfaction and increased revenue. I chose to work with Francesco because he gets what we're doing, and we need that kind of commitment in a startup. Somebody who can back us, even when times are tough. He's developed this amazing ecosystem in London, and it's easy for us to tap into those networks that he has created. And that's something that helps us both you know, present ourselves, but also critically also to hire people or to get people interested in what we are doing. In terms of value add, there are three things we mostly focus on. First, full alignment of values with the founders. Mostly technical people looking to grow a company and understanding their pains of transitioning from perhaps an academic or technical background into launching a business and growing a business. We want to understand the technology, we want to understand their story, and once we get conviction with the full due diligence we run, we then are not afraid of writing that first check and even offering term sheets. There might not be the term sheets that end up leading the round because our checks are quite small, but it helps bringing the round together. And I work very synergistically with other investors, again, almost like a super angel that doesn't fight for board seats or parade rights. So founders from very early on, they can rely on us for unbiased advice and support. And then lastly, once the investment is closed, we help founders propel their mission to the war. We've helped Anna Fight get on the front page of international tech publications. We've helped companies hire engineers from our community. 
and we've helped companies raise follow-on investment by connecting to investors from our community. My name is Christina Esteban. I'm the founder of Frontier Deep Tech, the first deep tech conference in the UK. So I decided to invest in Silicon Roundabout Venture because they have access from a very early stage to this type of companies. We worked together for the Frontier Deep Tech conference last year. They brought to the table amazing companies and I just found that that could be very helpful from the investor's point of view. Additionally, Francesco is a technical person, his background is engineer, and I think it's a perfect balance between the knowledge of an investor, but also the technical knowledge to minimize the risk when it comes to an investment. In terms of exit for a deep tech company, there is a slightly longer time frame than general tech. However, that's reducing because there is a more friendly ecosystem for deep tech companies to raise follow-on round. We can see that deep tech companies tend to take slightly longer to advance from the very beginning to the Series A, Series B rounds, after which their technology starts to be the risk and therefore the growth trajectory from that point on is actually not too dissimilar from general tech companies that on the flip side have started to take longer and stay in private longer. On top of it, if a technology company gets an early exit, primarily because of an IP sale, that early M&A might come into the lifetime a little bit like uh, an early exit for a, for a general tech company. Right now is an extremely exciting time to invest in deep tech because we're at the junction between on one side the deep tech ecosystem starting to come together and effectively allowing capital to support deep tech huge growth stories and on the other end that still being a niche and underserved market an underfunded market where opportunities are abundant and for pioneer investors that have the knowledge and the means and access to invest in early stage deep tech companies that means uh, the opportunity to getting early into a new wave of technology altogether.